here is how i achieved a very simple yet glam makeup tutorial for an everyday wear if this is your cup of tea then keep on watching So this is a very simple beginner friendly makeup tutorial especially for slow learners so with no further ado let's jump right into the video so first things first I'll go ahead and hydrate my skin this is the Siam snail and azulene water essence I have a review about this particular product that is linked in this video so please click it if you want to know all about this particular essence and I'm going to be using this to hydrate my skin a lot of people have this notion that hydration is not really important when it comes to makeup but I I'm here to tell you don't say that that is definitely a myth you need hydration on your face whenever you're going to do your makeup I, I allow this to absorb seamlessly into my skin let's talk about the next step in the routine which is moisturizer the moisturizer I'm using in this video is the Mary and May moisturizer this is how the moisturizer looks like take a decent amount warm it up on my skin and just apply on my face now this is just to help lock in every amount of moisture that your skin deserves it will also serve as a base to which your makeup is going to sit on regardless on the fact that we are going to still apply primer note please always apply a decent amount of moisturizer under your eyes simply because we do not apply primer under the eye and leaving your under eyes super dry is going to crack and crease your makeup before you jump right into the next step kindly apply some lip care just to prep your lip in advance so that when it's time to do your lipstick it does not look super dry or super chapped step three primer so today i'm using the nys or the nyx professional makeup pore filling primer Honestly, I have been enjoying this particular product lately. Like, I have had this product in my makeup, like, sets for the longest while. However, I did not see the relevance of this product, especially because of the way it is, like, can you see? It's just like, I don't know. The way it comes out on the tube, it's just, it pisses me off. But when you apply it on your face, it's like, Damn, damn, like it's really nice to be honest. To be honest, I do not apply my primer in my entire face. Honestly, like I do not see the relevance of it. However, if you have super oily skin, if you have acne scars, please do well to apply your primer in your entire face, except your under eye, anyways. But do well to apply this on your entire face. I mostly like center my primer you see what i'm saying about this primer it is good but the way it comes out on the tube is just super annoying so this primer blows out your pores and also like mattifies your skin once it's fully dried out um i really love it i really enjoy it so the t-zone is mostly here 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 and here and sometimes i apply primer here but other times i skip it one thing I enjoy about this particular product, this is the NYX Pore Filling Primer, is because when it like absorbs into your skin, it feels like you just applied like powder on your face and it blows out your pores, mattifies your skin and like it glides on really really nicely. It's just the only thing I don't like about it is how it comes out from the tube. It just pisses me off. Please apply primer on your brows. Do you hear me? So now, next is brow care. Uh, next step is brow care. I will be using the brow list from DD Beauty to prep my brows. Just take it and I will brush up my brows or comb up my brows. This is just to make my brows stay intact and would, like it wouldn't move or like start like the hair would not be a struggle when I'm trying to like fill in my brows. Now the brows are now intact if you're a beginner trust me you will enjoy underpainting if you're doing every other technique it might be a bit risky rigs 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 it all it will be a bit risky so in my best opinion my best advice i'm going to give to you is 
please like on the paint you love it the paint i'm starting with my concealer this is the nuban concealer in the shade 046.5 this is to help correct and conceal most of the dark circles or hyperpigmentation i have here and there before going in with the brightening concealer so i'll just apply this on my under eye like i'll apply a decent amount and i'll allow it to like get tacky marinate get tacky so that when i'm blending it will just give like a full coverage feeling so now this is out of the way and i look scary and i look scary I'm going into my beauty sponge. The beauty sponge I'm using is the one from Tog Glam. If you stay in Nigeria, to be honest, you are going to enjoy Tog Glam's beauty sponge. And bear in mind, squeeze out the water. Squeeze it out. Because when you use a wet beauty sponge, it's going to move your product around. However, when you use a damp beauty sponge, you will blend your product properly. I'm going to start on my chin and I'll blend remember you blend in tapping motion you don't drag if you drag you're moving the product everywhere if i blend my cupid's bone then like low-key my forehead i'll also link every single product i used in this video in my description box to know like where to buy it i'll, I'll also put most of the stores where you can buy most of these products and some of these brands also ship worldwide. Even the Nigerian brands, they also ship worldwide. So if you are wondering where you get most of these products, they ship worldwide. So don't be scared. We always know what we are doing. So I'm blending the under eye because it has properly marinated. And you can see that it's giving like that full coverage and it's like concealing and correcting any hyperpigmentation I have under my eye just around most of the places in my season is just correcting even some of the dark spots i have in those perimeter it is correcting all of them in as much as i really do not have so much dark spot as i used to have however like i have a couple but this is not a problem to be honest i'll be contouring using the black opaustic foundation anywhere you are in the world you can access that the black opaustic foundation it's just a cult favorite. It is the best of the best. And this is the shade Black One Knot. It is a very cool toned contour. These days, I think I more prefer cool toned contour as opposed to like warm toned reddish contour because I feel like those reddish ones does not do it for me. I really want to contour my face. However, I don't want that harsh, dark, deep. Ah, oh, it yukes me. Except like when I want to like do a different type of like makeup tutorial, that is when I use like the deep dark contour, reddish contour. However, whenever I'm doing like very simple subtle makeup, I always, always, always just like use cool tone because it's very easy to blend. Now you can tell that I applied most of this product in my forehead like the bridge of my nose uh, to give me a little bit of facelift i applied it like close to my eye um my cheekbone my jaw so let's blend this particular technique makes it a lot easier for you not to like use excessive products so i will use like a decent amount trying out of this now apply this dries down really fast so i'm going to blend immediately i am using the shade 19. can you see how it looks on my skin now it does not look like too blushy blush like very bright pinkish or like coral blush it just gives like a very little flush of pink to your skin and i really really enjoy how it looks on my skin and then i'm going to take a decent amount and still apply on my cheekbone i think i must have applied a lot in this one honestly this is time you bring out your foundation so the foundation i'm using in this video is the um sylvie CUV MAC Undetectable Foundation. This is a Nigerian brand. They are doing what they are supposed to do. And I'm going to use half a pump on this part of my face and half a pump on this other part of my face. So let's blend. So 
So time to blend. Remember when you're blending, please blend in tapping motion. You have no business dragging your foundation. If not, you're going to like move products around, making it very impossible for you to get a very blended finish on your skin. Side comparison, this is what this part of my face looks like. I have properly blended my skin, like my foundation, concealer, contour, blush, all together. What is only remaining is just my brightening concealer. And this is what this part of my face looks like without any sort of foundation. And you can see that side by side, you cannot tell like really the difference because I mean like once you blend properly, it sits properly. So now I am done applying foundation on my entire face. This is the best time to now brighten your under eye and every other place you would want to brighten with a brightening concealer. So the brightening concealer I am using is the Nuban concealer in the shade 045. I only use Nuban concealer surprisingly because I enjoy it. This is basically what I'm doing. This is just to give like a brightening effect to give angle and edge so you can see that this place is already brightened all the places that i applied has already brightened now let me like blend this particular one the morphe continuous setting spray to i think i'm running out of this product so i have to repurchase like a new one However, I'll allow this to like sit on my skin and dry down before I go in with my setting powder. Setting powder, I will use my cult favorite LCMA setting powder. You know, you know that this is like my favorite setting powder. It gets the job done and all of that. The packaging is not really aesthetically pleasing. I mean, well, it's, an, it's a very ancient product. However, when i say it gets the job done it gets the job done we don't look at aesthetics when we know that something is properly done so now you set your under eye you use a beauty a dry a dry beauty puff and then you set your under eye Remember that everywhere you're setting is mostly the places that you applied your concealer. So you're basically just setting the entire concealer that you've already applied. I know I look crazy right now, but hear me out. This is just the only way you're going to set your concealer and it will not move throughout the day. Now, once I am done doing this, it is time for me to apply my powder. I'm going to be using my powder brush taking a decent amount just for contour i'm using the cover girl contour in the shade ebony 400 and i'm using it to contour my cheekbone my jawline my forehead just to chisel <laughs> If you get what I mean, so this is what I'm doing. So in circular motion, just blend like this. Nose. Using an angled brush. I'm just going to like brush. Just here. Yeah, in mind, don't make it too harsh so it doesn't look crazy. Just little double here and there blush i'm using the annie's beauty cheek orgasm palette this is what it looks like you can see that i really enjoyed this particular orange shade however currently i am enjoying this particular shade i know you feel like oh pink is going to look crazy it's not trust me once your skin is intact your makeup is halfway done now it's time for brows a mirror here and i have my retractable pencil this one is from toglam best brow pencil ever super matte very easy to work with so i'll just brush up my brows per use 
i will try and zoom you guys in so that you see exactly what i am doing and then all i need to do is fill in the brows i know you cannot see or you can barely see like the outcome of these brows but just keep watching now it's time for us to go for our brow pomade or brow gel the one i usually use is the one from hegai and esther again nigerian brands be killing it this is the shade nubia and i'll be applying it using a flat angled precise brush in to get a decent amount the secret is just to follow the outline of your brow So you can see what i have done on my brows i'll quickly zoom in so that you see how my brows look so now whatever is the remnants on this um brush i'm just going to use it to fill in the brows like the tail of the brows just to give it like a very natural feel this is basically the brow tutorial i'll go ahead and go off camera to do the other brows and i'll come back for the rest of the tutorial coming together so now to seal in the entire brows i'm going to be using the beauty by dd brow i don't know what this is called but i feel like it's like it's written secure the brows you use this to secure the brows it's like some sort of brow gel like thing so if you feel like your brows are too dark because maybe you used a dark product this is one thing that i know that will like reduce the pigmentation of your brows because this is a simple makeup routine we are going to ditch the eyeshadow first in the setting powder now it's time to set your entire face so i'm using the sopro seal it spray and the morphe continuous setting spray this is to melt in the dusty effect of these products on your skin why this particular one helps with sweat control oil control and to avoid any sort of breakage this particular makeup routine is smudge proof and transfer proof this is my hand And you can see there is barely anything on my hand i'm impressed you don't enjoy wearing lashes so i'm going to do my mascara this is the nuban mascara in sorosoke i don't know if i'm pronouncing it well and i'm going to like coat my lashes so i went ahead to do my both lashes off camera and you can see that the mascara really really pops so now it's time for the highlighter and the highlighter i'm using is the one from fenty beauty this is their diamond um highlighter i'll just use my finger take a dab and then just apply it on the high points of my cheek because oof shine like a diamond you can always wear this particular makeup look to work every single day that is if you have the time to always do your makeup before going for your nine to five however like this is like an everyday sort of makeup you can wear it to work you can wear it anywhere but like try as much as possible to like tone it down when it comes to the highlighter so that they don't think you're you're coming to work to come and party my all-time favorite lip combo is these two products this is the classic lipstick in the shade vip and this is the nikake um clear lip gloss so let us apply it i'm just going to line my lip and then apply some gloss that is all i need to do For taking my nikake lip gloss i am just going to like Ooh, it's juicy this is the lip tutorial ah, it looks so yum, yum 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 so i'll go ahead and like put down my hair and then i'll come back for the outro so we've come to the end of this video i mean i look super yummy i look super nice i know i know don't tell me i know anyways don't forget to hit the subscribe button i mean you watched me smile do makeup talk rant and all of that and you're not yet subscribed should I get you wine? I mean, I need to get you wine. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Also, give me a big thumbs up if you like my content. And also, leave a sweet comment if you enjoyed my video. Or maybe a recommendation. Or maybe something you would want to see on my next post. 
every detail of all the products i used for this makeup routine is linked in my description box and also the vendor where you can get it from so with that being said i'll definitely see you guys on my next one Mwah. bye